and from here in Toronto and where again East is meeting West with one and only Ramba Ho Ho Girl. Her contribution and work in Hindi cinema throughout the 1980s and 90s is unmatched. Let's meet the Hari Om Hari Girl, Kalpana Ji. Welcome to Design Television and welcome to Toronto. Hi, Mickey. Thank you. Thank you for having me in your show. And hi, everybody. Well, the pleasure is all ours. Uh, Kalpana Ji, I, I, I don't even know where to begin with. Uh, first of all, it's like I'm shaking literally talking to you because mm -hmm. you are you are you are beyond comparison i, I grew up watching your movies and especially those feet tapping music uh, which was actually you know it's it's come in the form of remix but still the children of today and kids today mm -hmm. they just love it you were known for your fashion you were known for your makeup you were known for your updos and mm -hmm. the, the way you carried yourself you modernized indian cinema back then mm -hmm. please mm -hmm. tell us about your journey you know, Mickey, um, actually, nothing in my life was actually planned. Nothing at all. I mean, all that you're saying, um, <laughs> it seems like you're talking about somebody else, but I realize what you're saying. Uh, nothing in my life was planned. I started off as a young girl, just uh, enjoying my dancing. And uh, when you're young, you don't have, there are not any restrictions put on you. You do what you like. And in our time, my, my generation, uh, if you had talent, you know, you had different ways of doing things. In my case, we couldn't uh, afford me going to a classical dance school. I'm not trained in anything. Okay, let's get that straight. And uh, I used to just dance for fun. And uh, my parents, uh, of course, would encourage me because I was, I was a very thin girl. I was uh, very wide-eyed, very fair. And uh, also, like they say, you know, sometimes there is a reason why God does certain things. I believe that everything, there is a reason for everything. So I suppose it, it just worked that I danced and people liked it. And then I started doing small shows as a kid. And uh, it was appreciated. Initially, the payment was like, let us say, um, a small uh, biscuit, chota uh, packet. You know, you used to get a small packet of glucose or uh, 25 bucks, 50 bucks. And uh, it was a king's ransom at that point of time. I was a young girl, not really, uh, what started off as fun. And uh, I had very supportive parents. But at the same time, my mother was very definite that I shouldn't uh, compromise on my studies. Uh, I was a good student also. I started doing small, small shows. And then in school also, in my annual functions, I used to do a lot of uh, anything that had to happen, Kalpana would participate. And it was like, uh, you had something and people uh, helped you. And then it came to a point where uh, in one of our shows, uh, the late uh, Mukesh Ji's uh, assistant, sort of, his name was Hans Raj. He saw me and he spoke about it to my father. And my father said, sure, he'll meet uh, Mukesh Sam. And I started doing shows with uh, Mukesh ji. So in a roundabout way, uh, it was Mukesh ji who was responsible for me ultimately becoming a stage dancer. Because at those days, the shows were very definite. As in, a singer would sing, a dancer would dance, a mimicry artist would do mimicry. And those were the kind of shows. Then Teen can take a show. Usme, you do two items and you get paid a decent amount of money and Ram Ram. That's it. Abhi jo ye mega show hota hai, and these uh, about a hundred dancers behind. Yeah, exactly. Hundred dancers behind and your costumes also being made. You're changing costumes also in, in, in a very big way. Hamara, it was to be simple. And in that simplicity, uh, uh, I needed the money. Uh, the family could do with the money. Uh, I was getting work. I was uh, being encouraged by, supported very beautifully by my, my mother and my father. And uh, I had uh, a small family. And they say, you know, there are some children who are born old. I think I was born old. I wasn't okay. born young. I was never a baby, baby. But uh, I'm not complaining. So let's get this right. I'm, I'm just saying things the way they were. And if I was a girl, I don't know. 
but i enjoyed it and i loved it and i wasn't uh, about to sit back now because they say you no know, once you ek chabi lag jati hai to you you start doing things Discla- and discovering uh, and exploring. yeah it, it, everything just fell into place mukesh ji then introduced me to manada manada ke sath kaam karte karte i met kishor dada then i met uh, other singers uh, mahendra kapoor sahab <clears throat> then uh, i also did a lot of shows with kalyan ji bhai then panchamda and it 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 just it's a huge uh, i mean it was fantastic uh, shows karte 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 and then a uh, uh, कॉन्फिडेंस भी आ जाता है एंड द मनी इज कमिंग इन द फैमिली इज डूइंग वेल यू आर गेटिंग पॉपुलर एंड नथिंग प्लान नथिंग एट ऑल इट जस्ट कैप्ट हैपनिंग यू आर जस्ट जस्ट गोइंग विद द फ्लो या एंड आई ऑलवेज बिलीव दैट वेन यूर सिंसर एंड यू वर्क हार्ड एंड यू बिलीव इन गॉड एंड यू बिलीव एंड ट्रस्ट इन योर इंस्टिंग्स एंड आई डिंट थिंक बियॉन्ड माई फैमिली मेकि आई नेवर डिड आई नेवर डिड एनीथिंग एक्चुअली फॉर माई सेल्फ i do not know the meaning of that uh, by that i'm not trying to be one of those uh, major league sacrifice karne wali kind of thing please all i'm trying to say is that my family meant everything to me my two younger sisters my parents and uh, it was helpful the family got out of a lot of uh, monetary difficulties and i was uh, enjoying myself i was doing what i wanted to do i was dancing i was uh, traveling the world i went to america for the first time in 1973 with mukesh ankal and uh, after that uh, there was no looking back and because of the confidence one gets and because of the uh, everything changing when things change around you and when there's uh, joy and happiness you 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 feel you feel good and somebody turned around and told my mother that why doesn't she participate in a beauty contest and actually i was uh, completely unaware and uh, taken aback because i thought i was very thin i really was i was very very thin actually i was underweight and people said no she should participate in a beauty contest and uh, my mother was uh, petite young tiny my mom was very small you know and uh, people used to like wonder you know how is this going to happen and but she was very strong and you know very supportive very uh, she used to protect me and they said you need to have somebody like that like as ambitious as my dad was my mother was ambitious but to to a point and protective so then we participated in a beauty contest and i was elected a first runner up at the navy queen in 1975 but before that i participated in one i was elected maza princess i was miss ann and then miss neptune and i don't know kitne sare it feels strange recollecting but i did i all these misses i became and after the navy queen contest i was uh, that uh, was sponsored co-sponsored by femina times of india and uh, mrs patel called me to her office the very next day and uh, i went thinking that mujhe kuch presents milenge and gifts milenge that is all i didn't expect anything else and i walked into her office and the first thing she said was will you do a fashion show for me and this was november 1975 and i said fashion show and she said yes i said i have never done anything like that she said there's a beginning somewhere okay so let's make this a beginning and i'm like yeah okay she says in 3 days you have to go to delhi and i'm like wow and uh, that was the beginning of my uh, life as a model and uh, that's what this was 1975 november december and then when i come back from that fashion show uh, she signed me on for another big tour the miss india fashion shows that femina used to do and my life changed uh, overnight then in 1976 she sent me to aruba i represented india in the miss teenage into continental i did extremely well i was a finalist in the first five and i won the award of the most popular candidate then i came back to more fashion shows and more uh, at films and other people i started working with jane naroji i worked with burlingtons i did ads i did films i i i was popular and i was one of the few models who was not under any contract so i could work with everybody and i had a wonderful That's wonderful amazing. time because people accepted me beautifully i did a lot of shows i said karte karte then i was sent to the miss world in 1978 mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> after the miss world there was no looking back mickey i came home 
and my mother told me that uh, the Rajshri people have contacted you for a film. And uh, I signed my first film, Manu Kamna, in 1979. And on, before, uh, during the shooting of Manu Kamna, Dev Sab saw me and signed me for Lutmar. And uh, everybody said, don't do Lutmar Kalpana. And I was like, why? Why shouldn't I do it? And everybody said, Ki tum ek, you're already doing a film as a heroine. Why are you doing a, a dancer's role? And that you're not a main dancer, you're supporting another lady, right? I said, uh, I didn't plan any of this that's happened in my life. I didn't plan anything that's happened so far. So why should I be turning around and saying wonderful offer Jadev Sahib Why should I say no to him? And I took it on and my first song was Jab Chai Mera Jadu. And on the oh, sets of Loot, yeah. Uh, on the sets of Lutmar, I signed my first film uh, on the very next day, uh, Kudrat, Chodo mm -hmm. Sanam Kahe Kagam. Mm -hmm. On the second day, I signed Bombay Ka Maharaja title song. On the third day, I signed Savan Kumar Tak's Nautak Mangta Ke Pausir Mangta with Nutanji. After that, I signed Hari Om Hari. And that's that it. Good. Yeah, my completely, my life changed. I was busy and uh, I did well as a dancer and uh, so on and so forth and there you are it's in a simple, nutshell as a simple girl as a simple girl which I can understand you came from a very simple family with no godfather no uh, you know film fraternity behind you how what how did you feel working with all these you know then superstars like uh, Rajesh Khanna Amitabh ji, Shami Kapoor ji, was this small town girl and a girl from a very simple background, uh, had some fear um, in her or she just went exploring her, uh, you know, caliber because dance, I don't know, did you, did you, uh, usually in today's, we are talking about then 1970s, today also dance is a taboo. For many girls, they, it is looked down upon. And I personally feel that if you feel like dancing, just go ahead. Was it a taboo then? Of course, if it is today, did you feel face any kind of challenges? No, 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 Mickey. I no, no, Mickey. Your family support and all was there. Thoroughly. Yeah, I I was completely and fully supported by my mother, mm -hmm. and uh, for me, uh, her approval was prime concern. Her yes and her no is was what mattered to me the most. And more than anything else, without being, uh, uh, I will not hesitate when I say this to you. Uh, when we didn't have anything, nobody came forward. So when God was giving me everything, why am I going to listen to anybody else? And I really didn't care and I don't want to even think about it. And no, I was accepted very beautifully and I worked with wonderful, wonderful people. All the people that I've worked with from my very first film up until I did my last Hum Saath Saath Hai. Again, coincidentally, it was Rajshri film, Ham Saath Saath Hai, which was the last movie I did before I came to Dubai. But I have absolutely no regrets. And there was no, no, see, for my time, I was supposed to be some bold girl. I, I don't think so at all. When I look at what happens in the name of movies and everything today, I was literally, kuch bhi kiya yeah. Bhi but yeah, absolutely not. And uh, I don't think that uh, wearing shorts or anything like that was wrong. Or, it was work-oriented. In my real life, I always wore saris. But I'm not justifying anything. I'm simply stating that I didn't have time to care, to ask, to think, to wonder, and even uh, feel bad. Because there was nothing to feel bad. Success doesn't uh, make give you time to mope. You Success were very does. lucky. You were very lucky that you were backed up by a beautiful family. Like yes. I, I was speaking to your sister the other day. And of course, during the end of the program, I would love our audiences to see the one who is still with you. And she's yes. your, as you said, she's your spine and she is uh, everything. Know, yes uh, everything for you in your life yes. right now yes. uh, on that note ladies and gentlemen let's take a look at the beautiful clips uh, which she has contributed to the indian cinema and we cannot still forget after this break
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. She was like, I was so engrossed in this. I wish it can go on and on forever. And I've watched this clip 10,000 times. Uh, her updos, her makeup. I run a beauty academy and I was totally in awe with her makeup. Tell me, like, how how did you think so separate and, you know, in a different way then? Like, did you purposely I've always been let no, a trend I... there or it happened to you? It just came. No, I mean, that's that's one thing. I've always been very, uh, uh, what try something new, do something new. And I've always been uh, somebody who's been fond of uh, looking. Uh, I won't say I wanted to look pretty. Uh, I, I always wanted to try something new. And you know, lots of things in my case have been instinctive. I Like I said to you, I, 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 don't, I didn't learn dancing. I, I don't know. I, we couldn't afford it. I mean, come on. We were, we were four kids. My parents had a tough time looking after us. And I personally believe that I didn't do anything fantastic, but things changed in, in our life because a lot of work happened. A lot of money started coming in. Things improved. But all that, can, I mean, I did rest on what I did. I, I wanted to keep doing something more. Like uh, makeup, ka jahan tak sawal hai, I, I like to experiment with eye makeup. I, 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 I always felt that the eyes speak the eyes tell a story. Now these things, no, but actually, you know, Mickey, today there are classes. Do you think makeup artists ke saath ko aisa try karna hai? Like, no, aap, aap, no, people knew that. that. I, no, initially I didn't even have a makeup man because, see, when you're oh. new, no, you, you turn around and uh, accept things oh as God. they are. But for me, things changed absolutely quickly, you know, overnight. I had a makeup man, I had a spot boy, I had a hairdresser, I had a dress designer. Everything just happened, you know. And even then, uh, I didn't turn around and ever take it, take anything for granted. I did things myself. Like, I like the idea that, you know, if I'm wearing, like, let us say, a green colored costume. I, I always said ki, I want to do my eyes differently. My makeup man and hairdresser, they knew that they can do only the basics and move. Because I concentrated on things myself. I did it myself. My eye makeup, nobody ever did. I did my eye makeup myself. My mm -hmm. hairstyles, I would like to, I like to create. I, I've i always been one of those children, you know, jisko shock hota hai na, kuch bachche hota hai, jinko baut shock hota hai. I used to like sketching, I used to like painting, I used to like cooking. And you were an I artist still... at heart already. You were an artist <laughs> at heart. You still are. Look at you. You're so, I mean, like... Uh... I, I, my 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 question to you is, what is your take on on current era's uh, platform for Indian cinema, rather uh, like Amazon and Netflix, like the then Kalpana Iyer, if she was given an opportunity back in seventies, seventy five, eighties, and even today, what is your take on on all these new platforms that are coming in? Like, what do you think? See, my How first you... film happened in seventy nine, Mickey, and I did my last film twenty years ago. Okay, from mm -hmm. then, 79, Manokamna was the first, Ham Sa Saath Hai, 20 years ago was my last. In between this time period, that is 79 end, to 80 ho gaya, 79 end, till 20, yeah, say 20 saal pehle. I mean, now, I can only say one thing. There is much, much more work available. There are more platforms available. There is more liberties taken. There is more, uh, people are much, much more liberal. And uh, I, I think people do a lot of very, very good work. Everybody needs to decide for themselves. Each person has their own uh, SEMA uh, line. See, I can't sit on moral judgment of somebody else. And I don't like it when somebody does it to me. I will not do it to anybody else. I'm not going exactly. to sit and say, huh, no, Mickey, you know, times have changed. And if I cannot accept that times have changed and this is the way it's going to be, if I have a problem with it, I shouldn't do it. But I cannot sit on judgment and say, is this you. Kiya? You know? mm -hmm. And also, time will change. Jesse, when I came into the industry, a lot of people thought, I was way ahead of my times. People were a little scandalized by my shots. People were very scandalized by my very uh, bold, outspoken uh, way of working. 
but they didn't realize that this is just her work beyond that makeup is kalpana very simple have. person and nobody had time so i don't even blame them if yeah. they said that did i care i didn't similarly if in today's times if i sit and i pass judgment on somebody else or their way of functioning and working then they are not going to pay attention to me they'll say purani zamane ki hai do i need that of course i don't need that because i'm not purana zamana as far as i'm concerned i'm very very open like i'm saying it to you on your channel and i want everyone to hear this i'm open to work i never ever said i don't want to work i'm i'm all i'm saying is give me work appropriate to my age give mm -hmm. me work that will satisfy my soul mm -hmm. and uh, uh, let me enjoy working i mean once an actress once a dancer always, always uh, uh, that person never retires i i didn't mm -hmm. retire i came away because the work that was coming my way at that point of time didn't suit me it wasn't mm -hmm. appropriate see you you have to either understand ki my time is up and move and at that point of time i felt कि अब मेरे लिए और नहीं है बिकॉज सी मॉडलिंग हो गया मॉडल फिल्म हो गए टेलीविजन भी हो गया आई डिड अबाउट एटी एटी फाइव वंडरफुल सीरियल मैं कम बोल रही हूँ ज्यादा ही किया होगा मैंने एज मैटर वन ऑफ योर गेस्ट कपल ऑफ शोज अ गो वॉज माई सन इन का शिश आई वॉज द फर्स्ट फिल्म एक्ट्रेस टू डू अ सीरियल फॉर दूरदर्शन दैट अर्ली एट दैट टाइम पीपल हाई हाई टेलीविजन कर रही हूँ एंड आम लाइक अरे I I have always said that I have always done things that have come to me, and I've always believed it'll come out, it'll turn out right, and it did. So when I came away, it was not because I wasn't getting enough work. I wasn't getting the kind of work I wanted to do, and uh, I think I did extremely well from seventy nine onwards up until twenty years ago. I I worked and I was happy. All my songs were by the grace of God were hits. I worked with such wonderful people. काका जी राजेश खन्ना साहब विनोद साहब शमी जी आमिर शाहरुख सलमान ऑल ऑफ दैम आई मीन आई हैव वेरी गुड मेमोरीज एंड आई डेंट हैव एनी मेजर इश्यूज विद एनी बडी आई डेंट हैव एनी फाइट्स विद एनी बडी आई डेंट देर इज नेवर बीन अ डे आई डेंट लैंड अप फॉर वर्क आई वॉज नेवर लेट आई वॉज वेरी वेरी पंक्चुअल आई डेंट हैसल पीपल फॉर मनी सो आई डोंट थिंक दैट देर इज एनीथिंग टू रिग्रेट or i don't think anybody has any complaints against me at least nobody told it to me and i minded my own business i never interfered in people's lives i never spoke about people i didn't speak about my life i was i didn't have time people can presume what they like people can do say what they like i didn't exactly. have the time to even correct them and i, I uh, believe they say they say and talk things about a person that keeps you going like i say always my enemies keep me rocking because had it not been for the enemies i wouldn't be there where i am so i love my haters more than my lovers i because wish i could they say that they make you very strong they make you very strong no and i i wish i wish i could say that you know i'm but everybody loves you kalpana ji you are <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Design Television in Toronto is actually here in conversation with the most elegant guest tonight. Uh, I'm I'm totally like the way she dresses up and she has those saris and jewelries on her. She still is giving us a kind of a backseat with her elegance because nobody she's beyond comparison. uh we would like to thank our sponsors after this commercial break and definitely we would want to talk to one of your soulmates your spine your sister after this short break
वेलकम बैक ओके कविता जी नमस्कार हाउ आर यू सो प्लीज गो हेड एंड इंट्रोड्यूस हर योर सेल्फ प्लीज कल्पना जी फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट मैं कि दिस इज माय यंगेस्ट सिस्टर दिस इज कविता देयर इज वन बिटवीन अस हर नेम इज करुणा बट शी इज इन इंडिया आई स्टे विद कविता वी बीन टुगेदर ऑल आवर लाइव्स वो कहते हैं ना देयर आर सम सिचुएशंस दैट डजंट यू कांट एक्सप्लेन देयर इज नो एक्सप्लेनेशन शी इज माय मदर शी इज माय डॉटर शी इज माय सिस्टर शी इज माय हस्बैंड शी इज एवरीथिंग शी इज माय पिलर ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ शी इज माय बैकबोन सो वेलकम टू द शो कविता जी एंड इतनी तारीफ सुनने के बाद तो मैं मेरे को पता नहीं है कि मैं क्या बोलूं अब आप आप ही बोलो आप बताओ आई एम अ टीचर हम्म आई टीच किंडरगार्डन 1 and uh, i've been teaching for uh, 10 years here in dubai and uh, in india also i was teaching and uh, i'm very happy here in dubai kalpana <laughs> <laughs> ji has been what? yes she has been <laughs> talking about you yesterday when we were chatting and she was telling mera sara jo bhi hai wo ye hai and uh, and i i like she was so overwhelmed and i could see that like you know there is there is a certain boundary between your privacy and you know the public life and personal life you have been a pillar of strength and how does it feel to be a sister or have a sister rather like uh, who has been so famous and the fame didn't sh- you know go overboard and she has she's so grounded she's so grounded because uh, when you're talking to her she's like of course she is one of the most famous models of a time it's I, i would say i take back my words you still are a model to me a role model to all the youngsters out there who modernized indian cinema irrespective of whatever was out there and she kept on going with the flow how is it to be a sister to a great artist and a soul sitting right next to you kavita ji Uh, well uh, miki i would like to say this that in our family we are four of us and uh, she probably has the most uh, amazing creative streak amongst all of us none of us really took after you know anything at all uh, we each one of us uh, either pursued an, an academic career uh, or uh, marriage and children but uh, with kalpana she was always the one who was very creative in the family but for her it was more uh, uh, an expression of her creative self and uh, regarding how it was to be uh, a sister to uh, such a wonderfully talented and versatile uh, um, model actress singer dancer for me it was she was working to take care of her family and it was uh, because she was so grounded and she did not have any uh, difficult uh, traits or anything so for us she was just working to look after us nothing more than that uh, that's what uh, it is it's, it's overwhelming because i also have one sister and i know what that sisterly love is uh, because uh, you hold each other's hands and i i i was i was the boy of the family and i still am i was brought up as a boy exactly when i look at kalpana ji i i mere ko thodi bahut chavi dikhti hai ki main samajh Uh, one of my one of my things stated that sometimes a woman is a king too and you are the king i would <laughs> call you a king kalpana ji instead of a queen because you have taken care of your family in such a beautiful way and you still are uh, she she has uh, her uh, friends and family here and you guys should be proud to everybody who is here in toronto she has a family here too and it's it's proud to yes, have an aunt like i her. have an adorable niece living in toronto my yes. one and only niece she stays in toronto i love her very much because she is the daughter i'm sure she is watching she is watching well. i hope she is watching this and yes. uh, miki uh, i am a single uh, i never got married i don't have children i will never say because i have three children i have two sons and a daughter my second sister her eldest born is my first son her second born is my only daughter the third is kavita's son he is my last so i have three children so i i don't uh, think i i'm childless 
these are my three children and they are my pillars they are my strength i lo look at them and i believe that my god has blessed me and uh, i have never let kavita grow up at all i always say she is my first born <laughs> and uh, mai always mai sabko yahi bolti hu ye mera bachcha hai so mujhe upar wale ne bahut kuch diya meri bahut kuch diya and uh, mai kabhi bhi is baat se inkar nahi kar sakti hu ki agar upar wale ka sahara na hota to mai kuch bhi nahi hoti and agar mere mein himmat jo paida hui hai it's come from god i mean i i don't think that uh, anybody can achieve anything at all in life if they don't work see god can only do that much and after that you have to do what you have to do and i always believe that the superior strength and agar main subah uth ke haath nahi jodungi to wo bhagwan mujhe kuch bhi nahi dega i don't have to stand in front of him 24 hours but at least i can begin my day by telling him thank you god and in my heart i believe that you are what you are because that is how he willed it and even if you go through anything that is not uh, absolutely to the mark at a certain point of time trust him leave it to him he will do it for you he is brought you into this world he'll make sure you're all right none of us is complete nobody is without problems we all have issues we all go through problems but we have to believe we have to believe that you agar tumhare sanskar acche hain to tumhare sath bura kyu hoga it's so simple in life and i believe i am it's karma it's, it's a law of karma yes yes you I do good good will come back to you it will and it will come, come back to you whatever you give to the universe they say the universe gives it back to we'll you give it back to you yes maine pandemic ke bare mein bhi shuru mein jab tha to bola tha ki we gave a lot of plastic to the universe mother nature mm. and actually mm. mother nature has wrapped up in plastics now you see yes that? this yes. is what it is we were not taking care of mother nature and it was her way of healing herself yes and yes. it is very important and yes. it's, it's it's the law of karma what you gives you what what you are giving you get it back that's called and you know miki this pandemic has given people uh, enough time to interact with the families people didn't have time for people As well. so this yes. pandemic has given people time to be at home to connect to uh, make time for people you don't meet often to understand you see it it, all, it became all about getting up get, uh, going to work coming back in the evening and saying hello good morning good night and go to bed it didn't you didn't have time so now this this particular time i think people have connected people have understood people have realized that you don't have to socialize all the time you don't have to go out all the time you don't have to keep spending money on things that are unnecessary i think it this has been one of the biggest lessons i think for everybody, everybody. at my age I, i'm 64 right now and i don't think i can go out often i don't go out often because there are certain rules and regulations in place here and i follow them i follow them very uh, sincerely because i realize it's being done for a reason i don't have to go gallivanting between her and her son they look after me so beautifully so what's my problem in life if i need anything all i have to do is just open my mouth and by the time i'm finished with the sentence it's there for me what more do i need so you have to be careful you have to make sure that you're not a burden on anybody else and i definitely would like to appeal through your uh, this ki please please all of you all take care make sure that you spread the good word and please make sure that you mask yourself i mean if you don't mask yourself you're putting yourself in trouble and you're putting somebody else in trouble please sanitize please be careful please wash your hands these are small things just please pay attention to it and everything's going to be all right well that is a beautiful message and we all should be following that thank you kalpana ji and thank you kavita ji for being there on the channel uh, toronto has woken up already and there are lots of messages that i am getting and of course they'll be there on facebook instagram and all the other social media platform including youtube it was wonderful talking to you and uh, you i will be walking out of this interview with a very different perspective towards life uh, this i have never said to any of my guests and i don't think so i will ever say that my outlook towards life has changed thoroughly looking at uh, you both especially the sisterly love and uh, trust me and uh, the first thing i'm going to do is uh, call my sister after this please do she, that mickey please, please do that can i say something yeah, yeah. she wants to say something uh, actually mickey i uh, i always uh, you know whenever she is uh, in an interview or something i uh, don't really uh, walk in or uh, 
I just, in fact, I don't even. Uh, in all much. these years, this is the first. <laughs> but you made me. I felt like coming for your, uh, you know, being a part of this. And now, of course, it it helps that I'm uh, on a winter break, so it, that also helps. But uh, I felt very nice uh, when I heard your voice, and uh, I felt very comfortable to be a part of this uh, interview. So I wanted, I volunteered actually. And you I know told something? Her, I want to be here. You will not believe this, Mickey. <laughs> In all my years as an actress, as a dancer, and whatever. Kavita has never come in front of the camera before she today. Never knew you had a sister till yesterday when we were. <laughs> That's the closest she, she, thing I she can felt say. Good. No, no. She she told me she felt good about you. She felt wonderful hearing you, and she got some positive vibes. So, and this is an absolute first. So for that, I thank you. Thank you, Mickey. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, and so much. It's all about. I'm a Sai devotee. It's all about. They say Jai Sai Ram. Yes, Om Sai Ram. Om Sai Ram. That is how they say. And uh, you. Uh, the humblest person uh, walking the face of the earth. Thank you so much, Kalpana ji, and uh, we will be spreading love definitely, as they say, inshallah. And uh, we will be uh, uh, talking uh, about uh, the future prospectives out here. And you, once everything gets over, you are more than welcome to visit us in Toronto. Toronto Wonderful. will bless bless you with blessed. open arms. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this uh, wonderful interview and uh, catch you again with the next guest. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.